Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Oliver Not here. I'm out here with my lifelong friend, Mr. Eric Johnson. We are doing some tackle testing today. Got some new toys in the mail the other day. Uh, some 13 fishing Concept A3s uh, swapped out with the power handle. Some Nomad slow pitch jigging rods. And the most exciting thing, arguably, on today's adventure is this new Squid Trex. Uh, we are fortunate to be the first ones ever to test this bait. So subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. Uh, turn those notifications on and hang on. Let's see what this uh, new Squid Trex is all about. Check it out guys. Testing out the new Nomad Squid Trex. Right off the bat, one of the coolest features of these baits is their ability to take UV light to glow down there in the depths. Check that out. How sick is that? That's a cast UV uh, torch here. And that instantly lit this thing up. Just got on the water, it's pretty dark still. Gray light. Maybe this will make a difference. Should definitely increase visibility. That's a sweet, sweet new bait there. I got some more of those bigger swim trucks too. I think there's too much current right now. I can't get this thing down. Yeah. I think the 110's the one what I have using? on. I might have a 130. I mean, that'll get down quicker, I think. You know, I like that gold when it's uh, overcast for a lot of stuff. Oh, dangle, dangle. All right. I'm starting to really like that color-coded line. Just kind of get an idea of like when to anticipate it hitting bottom. What's the color? I want to say it's a color change every 10, 10 yards. <laughs> oh, 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 nope, didn't stick. That 110 feel like it got to the bottom better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it came up. Oh. oh, this is getting wet. I mean, I've already got more bites in the last 30 seconds than I did with the other one. It's getting swung back. Yeah. Back. 95 wasn't heavy enough in this current. Both been short bit on it. Let me try a little experiment. I thought I had more of those bigger stinger hooks, but I think this will work. All right, just got some short patrol assist hooks here. And Eric and I have both had a couple of short bites on this new squid trex. Water's dirty, cold, it's post frontal. It just might not be fully committal. Let's see if we can get a short biter. Let's see if this uh, stinger rig here is gonna make a difference. Make sure you guys are closing that snap properly over the top there. Now we got double the dingle dangles. Oh yeah. It's starting to look like a bluefin jig. Yeah. Just little adjustments like this can make a difference. So bam, just like that. Hey! All right. You think that trailer hook did it? I think it did it. Not very big. First drop with the trailer hook. Hey! I think you might have caught the first 
fish ever on a squid trek. Let me see that thing. Almost the same size. <laughs> Cute fish, bro. <laughs> We're on the board. You guys are familiar with how uh, effective the swim treks series of baits and vertrex series of baits have been for us and this is an evolution on that family so shout out to the vibe tribe we are out here squid trexing it up eric's got big squid dreams right now <laughs> hey check that out yeah we got 110 squid tricks and look at that though look which hooks are yeah the same, same deal sweet how are you fishing that thing uh, slow pumps on the bottom vibe. little vibe on the way up and slow drop it and i usually bite on the sink pretty simple how are you liking that uh lightweight setup so far nice Man, the gold might be the deal. <laughs> You're getting bit though. I'm not getting bit. It's a pretty glow in the dark one. All right, Eric's got about five bites on the, uh, six bites now on the gold pattern. So mama didn't raise no fool. Let's swap it out. I think I can get away with the 110. Or should I just send it with a 150? I would go with 150 with a, that's kind of crazy. All right, I like it. So I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four different size squid trips here, guys. What I love is they come stock with my BKK hooks that I love so much. And a myriad of colors. Let's see, this thing is six inches long. 128 grams, four and a half ounces. So it's rated for a depth of 80 meters or 250 feet. And Eric just alluded to how much current we're dealing with here. So that heavy bait might be the ticket. You guys notice here I'm fishing it on a snap, especially with this braid to leader combination on this slow pitch jigging combo. I don't want to have to retie a new leader every time I swap a bait. That's not what I want to do. Hear that click drag you can button the drag a little bit on that's the nice thing about that reel is you know when there's line coming off so we're going from that 110 or 130 size to big boy 150 got that belly hook attachment if you guys were questioning the sharpness of these hooks you can see i already drew blood one little front hooks all right let's try as the name implies huh i'm gonna slowly pitch this thing out there <laughs> just gonna let this bait fall to the bottom we're in 120 feet of water here this bait is swimming as it's descending awesome for a vertical application like we're fishing today as you get close to the bottom, get ready for a bite. Engage your reel, pop it a couple times, let it settle. A couple of shakes and shimmies, get those tentacles waving. Oh, and just like that, you make friends from the bottom of the sea. Super simple technique. Especially on the right gear, it's so easy to fish. Don't pump those fish, just steady wind them. Sometimes they're wacky rigged. You guys ever try using pliers with your offhand? It's not as easy. There it is. Doing work out here. All right, let's get towards the end of that green here. So right there, just like that. It's pretty sweet. Come on. Hey, we found a friend.
Alright. Oh. Eight to one Gary Shields nice. Oh, Santa Bass. Oh dude, you just spit up a squid. It's right there. No. No, I'm sure we'll probably have another one. Spit up a squid. Twins. Twinsies. I mean that fish literally just spit up a squid, so you wanna talk about match the hatch. It's funny that I was hesitant to put on the bigger size. Yeah. Because it's literally the same length as that squid that it just coughed up. Like how excited or without hesitation will we grab a live squid out of a bait tank and pin it on. But just because it's a plastic version of this thing. Oh, I don't know. It's too big. So look at that. That's what you guys want to see. Both swing hooks pinned in its face. It's awesome. Thanks, buddy. Man, that sun feels good. Oh, winter time fishing. That's a little bit better. That one got the main hooks yeah. too, huh? Oh, hero. <laughs> I, I didn't look at the Montauks. I don't know. That night, I think a 190 Montauk. Oh, jeez. Yeah, better. I was sick. I, I was kind of lifting it a little bit higher and it just went slack. Huh. Eight to one. It was nice to pick up that slack line. A little bit better. A belly hook. Need a photo for me, sir. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. What are the stingers? Okay. <laughs> oh man, feels like a better one. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and risk my reputation, but I'm gonna say the Nomad Squid Trex is a bona fide fish catching, squid imitating badass of a lure. The system is a lot of fun to fish. Ooh. I mean, relatively light. Nice. Look at that bass. Oh gosh. Look at that one. Oh, look at that. He's turd rolling. He's turd rolling. Check that. Man, if you guys enjoy inshore saltwater fishing here in Southern California, pick up a squid treks. Nice short pitch jigging system. Uh, some assist hooks from BKK. Got that 35 pound Defiant fluorocarbon shock leader, 49 pound Nomad smooth braid. Drop it down on some wrecks, rocks, kelp, you name it. This thing's gonna get eaten. It's been getting eaten well today. I'm Oliver Nye, appreciate you guys tuning in. Go to your local Turner's Outdoorsman and check them out. We're out. Two more. She's gone. I can dig it.